Marlene, thank you so much for sharing your moving story. If I could please just ask you to have a seat. There will be um, a Q&A shortly. Um, and next, I'd like to welcome Ashlyn. Ashlyn, you're welcome to sit or come. <clears throat> All right. <sighs> okay. Hi, guys. My name is Ashlyn Vaselka, and I first just want to say thank you so much to Rocket um, for putting this weekend on and inviting me here um, to represent a rare disease that I have and a lot of my family members have called Dannon's disease, like the yogurt. And that's what I always say because people are always like, what? That doesn't make sense. I'm like, yeah, it's just easy to remember. But um, 14 years ago, I was diagnosed and I never would have thought I would be standing here when I was getting that diagnosis. I was 13 and sitting in a room with my parents and two of my sisters and they told us that four out of the five of my siblings had this disease and my mom. Um, and Dana's disease is a heart disease that's genetic and it causes an enlarged heart, muscle weakness, vision loss, and learning problems. And the only treatment for it is a heart transplant, but that doesn't really fix anything necessarily because it's not, it doesn't fix the gene that is in your body that's making your muscles weaker and your heart grow thicker and um, causing failure. And my brother had a heart transplant when he was 22. And my four of my uncles have passed away from this disease. My mom has had 12 heart ablations. Um, she just had one three days ago, and I was able to be there with her right before I came here. Uh, but my every everyone's different, and so when I found out I was 13, I was starting high school, um, I had just gotten my period. As a woman, it's very different in males than it is in females. They say males suffer more than the females do, and it's more aggressive, but I would say that I disagree with that because I, for me, being a 16-year-old, being in high school, going through something every month, my hormones going up and down, my heart rate going up and down, everything just is all, was always really hard. I would miss a lot of school. I was, didn't want to be the kid with the heart disease, but I was, and I tried to hide it. And um, then I graduated high school. I ended up passing out that year um, in my bathroom and went to the hospital. The doctors put in a defibrillator the next night. They saw I was having um, VT, which is basically just heart rates that can kill you like in your sleep. And so they put it in and for the next seven years, I was kind of on, I've been on this journey of trying to just survive and survive and thrive and, and live in that balance because I uh, couldn't go to college. I tried getting into one thing, getting into another thing, doing all these things and I never could do anything because I'd get too sick and I ended up having, I've had five heart ablations in the last seven years and then in 2018, um, the, the, the thing that you think never is going to happen, you know, it, it happens to you and you don't see it coming and I had a stroke um, in December 2018 and it totally, I didn't see it coming obviously and wouldn't have known, um, and it kind of spiraled into 2019 where I had another heart ablation in January, and then another one three months later, and then um, uh, in November 2019, just this past year, my I have a defibrillator still, um, and it's never gone off, thankfully, but it went off abnormally because my heart shot up to 180, 200, 220. And when it did that, it, it sent off my defibrillator thinking I was dying, but it was a different heart, heart rhythm. Um, but it shocked me while I was awake three times within five minutes. And it can't explain what that feels like. It's just now I have a lot of issues from all of that. But 
since I've been through everything that I've been through and I'm fighting for this healing for me and for my family and for other patients who have Dannon's who are misdiagnosed all the time, like they don't, it's just seen as heart failure and it's like, oh, you have heart failure, you don't have Dannon's and it's such a different animal of a disease. Um, and so, um, hold on one sec. So the biggest part, I guess, for me that I just want you guys to know and me standing here of having a rare disease, it, I don't think it's a bad thing, like you were saying. I think it's a blessing and a curse at the same time. And I've found so much purpose in caring about my physical health, caring about my emotional health, and caring so much about other people's hearts because that's what life is about anyway. And people always like joke, I'll say like, yeah, my heart is super big and it's thick. And they're like, oh, you must have a lot of love in it because like it's made so big. And I know, I believe that God made me that way because now I can see other people and I can see them beyond just, oh, you might really be going through something. And um, I, I'm filled with a lot of hope just being here after everything I've been through, I think rocket is just getting started and what there's something so much bigger and it's we're going in the right direction and i'm just honored to be able to be here and spread awareness about all of this for you guys so